Hello everyone, this is Quaker from Next Gen Windows, and in this video I'll be starting a new series called Project Sienna Know-How, if you didn't see the title above. And in this first video, part one of the series, I'll be showing you how to create an Excel spreadsheet, uh, come up with your own table, uh, basically just a table on maybe what you want, uh, your menu items or whatever you want your app to have in it and then convert that into a table it starts off as a spreadsheet and then you convert it into a table uh, and then I will be showing you how to import your data source which is that Excel sheet into Project Sienna uh, in which you can actually uh, use as like a menu tab or you can use it as like maybe a gallery uh, anything like that I'll be showing you things like that now for starters you have to know what exactly you want your menu items to be or what you want your whatever you're trying to do with this table you gotta know what you wanted to do with this so if you wanted to make an app that is talk that is comparing say computers and things like that or you wanted to compare um, stock rates or anything like that you have to know what you wanted the the spreadsheet to be what you want your app to be about before you can do the spreadsheet but once you know that you can just then create your spreadsheet so let me hit a new sheet I'm not gonna create a new one actually you know what let me just create a new one uh, just just to show you all uh, on Office 2013 so you create a blank workbook and now that you have a blank workbook uh, obviously yours will say book one instead of book two because I already have a book already so book one uh, essentially this is what this would be and then if you wanted say let's make an app about um, let's let's just show you how I made the uh, how I make it the next year Windows app that I'm still creating so what I want to do is again I want to make menu items, so I'll just title this uh, this column menu items. So let's do that, and then we'll just click this and drag it out a little bit. There we go to give it some space. And then now that I have the menu items, I can do apps, games. Um, I believe it was hardware, and then it was um, news, and then we had social. So now we have apps, games, hardware. Uh, new social so right now if you look at this this does not have um, this doesn't this is just a spreadsheet it's not a table it's not something that Sienna can import and to test that out we can hit save as and just save it into something let's save it into uh, let's just save it into OneDrive so let's do that actually you know what? let's just save it to the computer so we hit browse and we're just gonna save it to the desktop to make it easy on my life so book two and this is showing you that as a spreadsheet currently as this uh, sheet is uh, Sienna will not be able to uh, pick it up so we open up Sienna which is right here it's free on the store and then we hit app data and then we hit data sources app data to access these extra menus you just right click or swipe up from the bottom or the top uh, and then we hit data sources then you see this plus that just drop down all these uh, data sources but currently in this video I'll be showing you how to uh, create a data source that is in Excel. So Excel, and then we hit this uh, button here to access it. So here is book two that I just saved, and we'll just show you how it doesn't work. See, it says error importing book two. Could not be imported due to the following error invalid operation. No tables were found in the Excel file. Only table data is supported by the importer. So as you can see exactly what I was saying, it's not a table. Uh, it kind of it looks like a table, but it's not. It's a spreadsheet. Uh, if it's not a table, you will not be able to import it into uh, into Project Sienna. So let's just uh, minimize this. And the easiest way to make it as a table is simply to hit this button here. It's under the Home tab, Format as a Table. And you can choose anything you want because it doesn't matter. Um, Project Sienna will automatically choose what it what it looks like. So I'll just choose this because it looks cool. On here, right here, you can you can add what you want as your header. So we hit My Table has headers. Since it does, the menu items is headers, which is cell A1. So cell A1 is my header right there. Uh, you can just leave it default because it'll work just like that. And there you go. A1 is my header. And then we can, if I sort the Z to A, you can see social is now on top since it's uh, furthest down in the alphabet. And if I sort A, A to Z, rather, there you go. Apps and this is the top. So there you go. You see how it now became a table. And now you can see that. Um, now you can order it and things like that as if you had numbers in it and things like that so now let's hit save and now that it's saved we can go out of here and basically it's the same thing that I just did here I just rewrote it but now we can get out of here and go back into project Sienna and then hit plus Excel file 
and hit book two. And if I open up book two, you can see the table's there, but you have to select it. Uh, and there you go, it's there now. So you import data. And there you go, Prodigy Sienna imported it uh, successfully, book two successfully. And then you can see here uh, that the table is exactly as I said it would be. So social news, hardware, games, apps, and the menu items allows you to sort it in Boolean and things like that. But nobody wants to get into Boolean algebra. That thing is crazy. Uh, but on top of that, there you go. You can see the source that it came from right there, uh, the exact uh, source it came from. So now if we hit back, actually, you know what? I'm going to import one more thing um, because I have other things that I wanted to add to this. So let me hit menu items here. And then we can put home page import. So uh, actually, you know what? Let me show you guys how to import images uh, onto your Excel spreadsheet slash table. So exactly how you import images is as follows. Uh, if you have Windows 8.1 currently, uh, I have Windows 8.1. Uh, you see right here, if you click this bar up here when you open up a folder, you see it, it originally looks like this. So let's uh, actually, let's, uh, let's click this and then let's go back to desktop. So it looks like this with a little arrow here and let's click into let's click into next gen windows a folder. So it looks like this originally, you know, you just see that uh and then you see the arrow right here which allows you to go back to the desktop cuz that's the directory. Um however, when you click inside there, you can see the full um directory how far, you know, exactly where the folder is located. It's under C users Quaku desktop next gen windows. Now, you have obviously you're going to have um possibility, you know, images inside that folder. They won't show up as an extension. Why? Because you haven't selected it and if and if you select it, you have to open it up in order to um view the full thing. So all you do is this. You see the end part of it and then you just look at the name. So if I want banner, I can just hit uh I can hit this button here. Don't know why it's not letting me. Let's click this real quick. There we go. Then you can just hit forward slash it could be backslash man this keyboard you could hit uh, I think I believe this is forward slash you could uh, correct me if I'm wrong or you could just look at it and type that thing in um, and then we hit banner so if we want banner you just type in banner dot jpg because that's what it that's what this image is it's a jpeg see there you go jpeg so it's a jpg it's quite big but it'll it'll be fine so there we go we have we just typed it in just like that and then in order to get it into your Excel sheet, uh, all you do is highlight and control C to copy. And then say if you wanted it to be next to, next to apps. I'm not actually going to use that picture, but you can just copy it in and then there you go. It's inside it just like that. Now another thing you do have to do before you can actually see the images in Project Sienna is you have to go back into the folder before you finish it and right click it just like that and then hit include in library and then include in library pictures so when you click include in library pictures obviously these are already in pictures so let's click on it just to show you see next gen windows already included in library yours all it do is just finish the process and it'll be complete so include in library pictures in order to get your pictures to show up in project sienna after you put it in your excel sheet and then obviously you convert it back to a table again and then you can open it up in project sienna and it'll show up just like this so that's exactly how it'll look like. You can see I have my two data sources here, book two, and I have menu items. And then now that we go back, we're back inside uh, Project Sienna. So now I want to make something like you know a next gen Windows app. So let's let's hit you know what? Hmm. Let's just fill this. So right here, let me just show you here real quick. Without clicking on anything, you just see these basic things here. You have background image, which obviously allows you to import a background image if you hit add uh, behavior behavior just shows like on visible it's just your little commands so how things will react on on certain occasions and then you have your design tab when you click design then you have your fill which is fill color which fills in the whole background of the app and then image position if you had an image you could adjust the image left to right so if I click on it uh, there's no image here so it won't let me really do too much but you can fill, fit, stretch, tile, and center, just like you have on your um, desktop background, those options they give you. Only you have it here, too. Um, so now we'll just fill this thing. We'll make it basic. So we'll fill it with, let's try, 
let's try this blue it looks cool you know what let's let's try this light blue sky blue and then you can set the opacity opacity is just how see-through it is so if you set it to fully one it's not see-through at all if you set it to half it's half see-through and you set it to none it's just going to be white because it's no longer there so let's set it to maybe just, just let's just set it to one and now that we've set it to one we have a colored background okay and now if you look in the bottom top right corner here you have a plus sign and you can add different things here and like that um, but that's going to be another video but it's, let's just give you a quick glimpse of what can happen when you do certain stuff so if we want to hit uh, import image gallery you just click on it and then you get an image gallery and then you can you know you press that button to edit images that go inside to edit the gallery but in the next video I'll be showing you exactly how to do that how to put images in how to uh, use that Excel spreadsheet or Excel table that you imported uh, to create your image gallery and to you know do things with it so to the next video I'll catch you guys later this has been Quaker from next gen windows see ya